Ladies and gentlemen, connoisseurs of fine brews, ales. Tonight is the inaugural Beer Street Boys Remote Fight Club edition. We often seem to agree on which beers we like. Maybe we have similar tastes. Maybe we've been drinking beers together for a very long time. But we are away from each other. Uh, and that way not being influenced by each other's ideas, comments, or silly humour. We're trying tropical pale ales today. One's just around the corner here in uh, Brisbane in uh, Yorong I think it is. Absolutely. And the other one, of course, is, well, uh, quite uh, famous here in Australia, Cooper's Brewery. Laguna Tropical Pale Ale. Have been to the Slipstream Brewery. What a what an experience! What a great time! Highly recommend it. I had my birthday there recently. Up there in your wrong pilly, uh, actually on Wilkie Street. Why uh, I spent many a, a wonderful evening as a student. It's a very sad time of being very poor and without a brewery because it wasn't built then for me to go and enjoy. It would have been so convenient. But anyway, join us and discover the joy of pure flavour. One sip. Now you're caught in the slipstream. A lot of beers uh, within this style at the moment. A lot of different breweries having different approaches. Shimmering pale gold. Like sand beneath the tropical sun. This fruity beauty. Is bursting with mango, pineapple and guava. Perfect for long summer afternoons. Garnish with a little umbrella and a wedge of pineapple. I have neither. I will drink my beer like a man. Let's give it a try. Cheers. Mmm. Okay. Okay. Oh, that's tropical. A lighter note, more of a lager kind of feel. It's got a nice little hop hit, a uh, tiny bit of sweetness. I don't know about guava, I haven't had guava for a while. Guava? What's well, a hint of bitter in there at the end? I don't know about the pineapple. How heavy are we going? 4.1, not too offensive, as far as knocking you around goes. Subscribe! All right, uh, here goes the Coopers. It's the Pacific Pale Ale. Here we go, 4.2%. Uh, that looks pretty good. So this refreshing Pacific Pale Ale delivers tropical and citrus fruit flavour notes. With a distinct dry hop character. And crisp bitterness. So definitely heading down the, the citrusy line, the fruity kind of flavours uh, and summery experiences we enjoy in a great tropical pale ale. A small amount of yeast is added to our beer just before packaging to enable a secondary fermentation which carbonates the beer and enhances the flavour. So we're also looking for citrus fruit and with a bitter, bitter end. Mm. Oh, that's... All uh, right. It's definitely citrus and it's definitely bitter. We can see the cloudiness there. Very distinct Cooper's look. Straight away, not as tropical as I had imagined. It's also a lot drier, which I quite like. Cooper's used to be something quite special. You felt like you were really drinking a different kind of beer. And now it seems very mainstream. you got guys here who have a small amount of experience. You've got guys here who have got generations of experience. <sighs> I think he can taste that. I think he can. A little bit more blunt than I thought it would be. I'm, I'm expecting more the, as I said, the citrusy sort of vibe, the juicy kind of flavor, not getting it as much from that. The Coopers for me is, is polished. The Slipstream is, is just a little bit rough around the edges. I'm gonna give this Fight Club to Coopers. I think I'm going with Coopers. I'm going to stick with a slipstream. That's a really, really, really well-rounded beer. A sweet, slightly bitter, well-rounded finish on this one. Just a little bit more depth and flavour there. 
Make up your mind and tell us what you think. Here's cheers. <laughs>